is up there, Flume Matt here with TRW. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a seven and a half foot wall art logo that I'm gonna throw on this wall back here with some of our FTC wall vinyl. I'm gonna use a 30 inch Roland Versicam. I'm gonna show you how to get it set up and cut with the overlaps in the TRW Design Wizard software to make it really easy. Even one person, I'm gonna do this with a one person, just myself, installing this, okay? But with those overlaps, with the wall vinyl I'm gonna use, you don't need any type of application tape. I think it's gonna be pretty easy, but we'll see. Stick around to see it. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to get the actual logo in CorelDRAW, the TRW Design Wizard. We're gonna get it split with that overlap so it will be easy to line everything up, okay? So let's head over to the software and get that part done. All right, so now we're over here in CorelDRAW and our software, the TRW Design Wizard version five. So there is a really cool feature in our software that's gonna help with something like this. So. I want to not just tile this design and split it into threes because we only have the 30 inch Versicam, right? I need to actually get this file and get it ready to be able to send into the Versicam in those three areas, but with an overlap like this, that way it's easy for me to use this wall vinyl material and get it lined up perfectly. So here's how I'm going to do that in the software. If I just click on my actual design and I want to do a half inch split design, I click on my split and there it goes. It's going to find the exact middle and you'll see when I go into wireframe, it split it right there. So if I move this a little bit, you can see move it a little bit more, a little bit more, and then it finally shows up. Okay. And that's the goal. That's what we want is we want it to split like that. But this split it to 43 inches wide and 43 inches wide. It split it perfectly in half. We don't want that because we only have a 30 inch Versicam. So here's what I like to do. I like to just grab the rectangle tool, okay? And I'm gonna pick my distance or my width that I can cut, which is normally, let's say, about 28.8, we'll say, all right? so. 28.8, you can see my edge here. So I'm gonna come close to that edge. I'm over the top area there, and then I'm over the bottom. So I'm just gonna hold control, drag that side, flip it, right click, and it duplicated. Do the same thing, flip it, right click, and it duplicated again. I'm outside of that. Now I know where my two perfect lines are there. So the easiest way, I just like to break these apart. So I clicked on all three of them and I'm just gonna hit break apart all paths. So what that actually did is it broke apart all of these paths like you'll see right here as I'm dragging them out. So this little line right there broke that apart and it broke that apart. So now all I have left are these two lines right here which is my perfect area I need. So. Now all I need to do, click on the bullpen logo, shift click on this line, and I gotta hold shift and click on my split. That's a custom split. So hold shift and click, it just did that one. Click on my logo, hold shift and click on that line, shift, split, and I'm done. So now I have my cut and my overlap there, and my cut and my overlap there, and I'm ready now to bring this into VersaWorks, send it to my 30 inch roll in VersaCam because this one right here is 28.8 inches wide by 50 inches tall. This one is 29.3 by 78 inches tall. And this one is 28.9 by 54 inches tall. So all of that's gonna fit within that 30 inch VersaCam for me. So let's go ahead, send this to the cutter. You'll see the cut through a time lapse here real quick and then we'll get it installed. All right, so you can see the Roland Versicam doing its cut here, so we have it time-lapsed. Of course, this is gonna be our middle cut, but one thing you'll notice is the extra actual decals and wall art that I have in there of the logos. And then on the second one here, we have three different pieces. 
I actually have my son's baseball team's logo. So for Waller, I might be able to sell it to some of the parents for their kids to throw up on their bedroom walls and things because I'm going to be using that material anyway. So you might as well use that minimal cost in ink for some potential sales to other customers. All right, so you can see how nicely that printed and then came back and cut it. Obviously, that was a time lapse. So that cut was actually, to do all of the print and the cut, was about an hour of work on that VersaCam. Because remember, this thing is seven and a half feet wide, but I'm doing it all on a 30 inch VersaCam to be able to make this large decal that we're gonna piece together. Okay, so this is our print right here. You can see our extra prints in it, that's fine, but this is the wall vinyl and it's gonna go onto this wall right here. So this is 16 feet tall, all right? Seven and a half feet wide. So first thing I'm do is I just measured the width from that window to that window, which was 21 feet. So I got, I marked over here 10 and a half feet. That's my center point up this wall, okay? Now, I'm not gonna try and center it perfectly with the windows, because might put something down here eventually. So I'm actually gonna go up a little bit higher with the actual wall material here and the print of the logo. But I know that I need to center that top corner and the bottom corner of the actual design with that 10 and a half foot mark to make it look nice and centered on the design. Okay, so now what we need to do to get this actual logo and decal ready for application is I need to weed off my excess vinyl. So the nice thing about the Roland VersaCam, it's going to print it, but then it's going to come back and do that contour cut around it. And now let's go ahead and get this first piece, get my leveler and go up and line this thing up. So we have it measured at 10 and a half feet, 21 foot wide on the wall. So the top part of my diamond is going to be my middle part. So all I did is I pulled off a little part of the top of the vinyl and just ripped it off. That way it stuck onto the wall and now I'm leveling it from there. As soon as I get this first piece straight, the next two pieces are going to be a whole lot easier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the carrier sheet on the back and I'm just going to pull it down off the bottom and just kind of smooth this out. Again, the nice thing about this material is you can lift it up, put it back, lift it up, put it back, remove it, put it back. So it's an awesome material that's very, very, very easy to work with when applying even by yourself. Now, if I had a second person helping me on this seven and a half foot decal, it would be much, much easier, but I just wanted to show, even with this material doing it by yourself, it is feasible to do it. So, grabbing my second piece here, you can see, just pull it off, and now I'm just gonna line it up. So I, we have those overlaps on it, which we did in the software, so now what I'm doing is I'm just eyeballing those overlaps to where all the lines line up perfectly. Once they do, then I can work from the left side to the right like I'm doing right now and kind of brush that in. And all I'm using basically is my hand kind of as a squeegee. So you don't need a squeegee because again, this is a textured concrete wall that you can't really use just a standard squeegee on because you don't want to affect any of the ink. Now to the third section. Now here's a cool thing. That third section just folded all over itself. It's a mess right now. But you can see with this material, I can just pull it all apart again. And once I pull it all apart again, because it's not too sticky, I got it back. So I got that done and you'll see in the fast frame here in the time lapse, my camera actually shut off on that third side, so I apologize for that, but you see it all right here as well. And there is our full application ready to go. All right, so that's it, crew. I know the camera went out during part of it. I didn't even realize it. Sorry about that, but install is done seven and a half feet wide. Doesn't look like it at all from here, right? But I'll show you a close-up. Can't see the seams at all except for one tiny little spot right there in the baseball where the white's just overlapping. It looks like a little brighter white because the two overlapping whites. But man, 
That turned out freaking awesome for seven and a half feet. I am pumped. Now, if you look at the other one that we did, you'll see this one was only about three feet, okay? So, that one there is about three feet wide, and it was actually done in four pieces, okay? I did top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. But when we come over here, now you can kind of see how big this one is. But the seam that I was talking about is right there. You can see that, and that's honestly all you see when it comes to the seams in this thing. So, this wall vinyl from FDC is freaking sweet. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click that like button, smash that subscribe button and a little bell right next to it so you get all of our videos that we post here to help your business. But you can do this all day in any type of training facility, an office, your house, for wall murals, anything you want with this type of material done with the Roland Versacam. I use the 30 inch Versacam and just cut it into three sections. But comment below, let me know what you think, and you guys all have an amazing day. We'll see you soon. Later.